When we are asked to find the mean of data that is grouped into classes, we use this formula, x bar equals sigma fi mi over n. In this case, my data is the ages of cars owned by 55 people. It has been grouped into classes, so we don't know exactly the age of every car in the data distribution. But we do know that 12 people own cars that are between 0 and 5 years old, 21 people own cars that are between 5 and 10 years old, etc. In order to use this formula, we need to extend our table, and the first thing that we will do is find the midpoint of each of these classes. The midpoint is found simply by adding the two numbers that are inside the name of the class to each other and dividing by 2. 0 plus 5 is 5, and 5 divided by 2 is 2.5, so the midpoint of this first class is 2.5. The second class, the midpoint is 7.5. Then we have 12.5. And finally, we have 17.5. The next thing to do is to multiply the frequency of each class by its midpoint, and that gives us this value FIMI. It just means FI multiplied by MI. 12 times 2.5 is 30. 21 times 7.5 is 157.5. 19 times 12.5 is 237.5. And 3 times 17.5 is 52.5. If we add all of these FIMIs together, we get 477.5. The meaning of this numerator is just that. Add together, that's the sigma, all of the FIMIs that we have calculated. So the 477.5 therefore goes in the numerator of the formula. And is divided by n, the sample size, which in this case is 55. When I divide 477.5 by 55, I get a value which rounds off to the nearest hundredth to 8.68. This is the mean of our data, 8.68. Remember, though, that the mean in this case has to be an estimate because we don't know exactly how many of these 21 cars, for instance, are 6 years old and how many are 7 years old. We don't have the real data in front of us. So we use this formula to estimate the mean of the data. Finally, let's apply the unit of measure, which in this case is years. The mean of the ages of cars in this data distribution is 8.68 years.